Hey everyone, here's Jack and today I want to show you my top 5 paid plugins. They're all below $100 and yeah, they're not in particular order and let's jump straight in. So the first plugin I want to introduce you is to Overload 2. This is a pretty straightforward vector importer for uh, Illustrator and now supporting Figma to After Effects without worrying about separating layers. It's also like a one-time purchase and it's just $75 so um, you buy it once and you keep it forever. Here you can see my head canvas is empty and uh, there's nothing inside. I have just a wet salt layer and the normal process to push it into After Effects is to save it as an Illustrator file and import it and grab it and so on. It takes so much time, so let's don't bother it. So I just select the thing I want. Let's say this windmill over here and this, uh, yeah, the body of the windmill. And I can see now here on the right side this Overlord plugin. You can also select the version. In my case, it's After Effects 24, but if you have two installed, like 25, 20, uh, 23, and so on, you can just also choose the version. In my case, I have 24 right now, and I push it to selection. So I push it. Now I need to wait a second. You see it's working. And now you see the layers are here. If I scroll down, they're just down here. Like I, but I can just drag and drop down in my case. And I see I have my windmill directly here as shape layers. And they also take the name of my Illustrator file directly, and now I can directly jump into animation. Also, a small note here, if you have the Overlook plugin also installed, you can also make the reverse process, just select your shape layer, see an After Effects, and you see the interface just with Illustrator. So you can also push stuff that you created in After Effects, if they're like pretty simple shapes, back to Illustrator to just uh, enhance your illustration and illustrator which is pretty convenient because you just have better tools to create vector files and illustrate than after fix itself the next thing i want to introduce you is to template tree where you can easily make revisions of your after effect projects file then you can use like a Google sheet to easily write the text and change it. I want to focus today on the Rick version. It's a one-time purchase of $67.5 while making this video. Yeah, I want to just show you what it does. So it's like a simple animation where like a smartphone pops up, you see here my name and the advertisement website. And let's say I want to maybe change the name easy here on the top left corner. Of course, I can just go to After Effects go here to my layer and change my name or I want to change here the web page that I introduced here in my uh, smartphone or this logo but there is a simple and easy way so I um, created here this um, spreadsheets and here you can see like different kind of inputs in my case here the target and um, this is uh, just the After Effects file that I linked in and different attributes that I want to change for example here's my name it says Jack if I go to my next line, it should say uh, YouTube viewer. So I just have here this um, template plugin open. It looks like this. So it's pretty straightforward. So you can just link the files. And here is the line you want to change. Right now it's set to 2, which is this line here. And I can just go one line front. And now you see my template change completely. And it's super easy. You can easily just change my input here. Let the website page change. Here, the small icon on my uh, teddy wears now some sunglasses. And also a YouTube viewer. And I can even change the color here. And look, it's like really easily connected. And if I go one more front, it looks again completely different. So Peter Pan, welcome to our video. So this is an easy way to make a revision. So yeah, you can easily uh, change your input value from your stuff here with our Google Sheet. But how does Templator understand that I want to manipulate these kind of layers? So what you actually do is you just write the layer name here in this upper input, for example, name. So if I go back to my After Effects project, I see I have a layer which has the same column name and it says name here. And I just apply like here the template or settings effects. It's like it's just an effect preset. If there 
you install the uh, plugin, you can just track and drop it on it. And then Templinter knows, aha, this um, layer should be manipulated if it's um, written here in the list. So it just then changed the input file to whatever you write. And this is how it works, basically. Also, the powerful tools it can also replace layers uh, and photos. So, for example, here, it changes here um, my form screen to another PNG file. So this is also pretty useful to just change pictures when you have, or videos even, if you have them implemented in your um, template. So the next plugin I want to introduce you is to GIFGUN2. And you can see it's really wanky and <laughs> and super funny ad. And I also well, um, once had a video call with the developer. He's really kind. But basically um, what this tool does is it exports like After Effects projects into GIF files. So here uh, this project is this fake 3D rotation that I've done in the past here also on my YouTube channel. I just open here GIFGUN2 here. And as you can see, it's just one button. If I go to settings, you have different kind of setting to set up. Uh, you can make it loop. You can set even the uh, target output file like 5 MB and whatever. You can just set up also the comp size, the quality and so on. And then after you just put your setting in and you have your comp highlighted that you want to export. I just click here, make a GIF. And that's it, actually. It's pretty easy. Um, you can also do it with, um, like, the known process would, would be to make it, like, MP4 or whatever and throw it into Photoshop. But like this, I can now just see I have, like, even four versions because I set it up in my settings. It's pretty nice. So the next plugin I want to introduce you is to Mobile from Motion Ape and it's a pretty handy tool because it has many small After Effects scripts combined in a handy little uh, plugin list. It has like animation tools, it has handwriting tools, it has layer composition tools, keyframing tools and so on and so on. So I want to just highlight quick and easy my favorite most scripts from mobile so you can just get the idea of what it does. It has a free version to just easily use them like with a daily limit and you can just pay for a full version or a yearly monthly version to use it. I personally have the lifetime version. It's also going sometimes on sale during Black Friday so check it out then. So yeah what this plugin does it just easily docks down on the left side and you can um, Normally it looks like just more like this and you can create like shortcuts for your favorite tool with this um, plus button here. So my version looks like this because I always already put my short versions here. And for example, um, I have for example here a text layer which has exceeded here my keyframes. But uh, most of the times when the keyframes are done, you don't want to exceed it so to have a nicer cleaner timeline and I can press for example here this trim layer and it opens this fancy little tool and I can just press this one and it just cuts out where the keyframe ends but if I just go back and I can also just clone and mirror keyframes so if we see here on the left side they are red and here white so if I just highlight them and click clone reverse we see it clone and reverse my keyframes which is pretty nice I can also easily um, time reverse my keyframes. So here they're on the left, red and right. So if I click it, they just switch the places, which is pretty also useful to make like a reverse version of your animation. Then, which I also uh, enjoy to use is create folder structure. So I created already my folder structure here and I apply and I just directly get the folder structure here to just have a more organized After Effects file. Um, the feature I also use a lot is, for example, here, if I go inside my phone screen here and I want to open it in my project window instead of searching it or try to find it or making this a lot of clicks here, I just click the layer here and I just open it here like this. So it's pretty, uh, just a quicker way to dig around your, your project for Another tool that I also enjoy using is, for example, if I want to make guide layers, then it automatically creates guide layers, or I want to delete them, I just click here. So 
it's a pretty easy way to just jump around. I can also make screenshots directly with this. Um, I can also uh, clean up my project here like this. Okay, now uh, there's nothing to clean up. But I can also dock my own scripts down here to easily use them. For example, I have here a read name. A layer script, for example, I can write Jack and it renames my layer directly and it works even with more than one so if I want to call them all Jack I can easily rename them like this so it's pretty handy and really efficient and if you just hover over each icon itself you see it has many other small tools that you can just discover and uh, yeah I highly recommend this to just maybe find the tools that you use and which are for you the most useful ones and then you can just easily dig in and try to find the stuff that you need and create them as a shortcut here. The last uh, top paid plugin in my list is PT Text Edit. but this you can easily just um, changed and manipulate your text of your whole After Effects comp. I mostly get like this request from clients like, hey, can we change the text font of the whole video? Then all process in After Effects would be, for example, you need to click on every layer. Then maybe this pre-comp here has also some text layers. You jump inside and select them all one by one and it gets really tiring. But with this tool, I just open window and open my PT text edit. So here this tool looks like this. It's pretty straightforward. I can first of all search all my text files, maybe all comms. Let's do this. So it's search. Then you see all my text that I have in my project file, also the input, which is uh, written inside, for example, here, or in my text data clear file. I have one which says J color code, welcome to our video, and whatever. And I can just change the uh, font, for example, by highlight them here it's like here the font that i want to select new maybe the client says hey i want um maybe helvetia font and now when i jump back to my project window you see the text has changed and i don't even need to dig in and try to find all the layers that um i want to manipulate also maybe i uh, i want to go maybe to this layer here instead of uh, check out my website then I can ch change my website, jackhermans.com maybe. And I go back to my main scene and now it's written com. So this is an easy way to also maybe make translations if you want to and uh, without clicking one by one the layers. So it's a pretty handy tool and I love it. So please feel free to use it. And you can also do like more stuff. You can align the text how you want to. You can change the colors. Um, you can even make a stroke so it has all, even more action you can even delete layers you can turn them on and off um, yeah shout out to Paul for creating this fancy tool and yeah just enjoy it and have fun using After Effects more with this kind of stuff so yeah as you can see my uh, plugins they're really actually not so uh, creating unique stuff in After Effects, more like to jump around the UI interface more efficient and more um, playful and it makes just animating process more fun and easy to jump into. If you have come this far to the video, please check out my top free plugin video that I created last time. It's, um, it's also my most favorite used tools in After Effects, but it's just free plugins, so um, there's no uh, excuse to not use them, so please check this also out. And yeah, see you soon and have fun using it. Hey everyone, thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. If you feel like uh, you want a future content like this on your feed, uh, feel free to just uh, hit the subscribe button below or you have like suggestions for future videos, write them below. Happy animating, bye.